So, it's Libra New Moon. And at the same time, we have the solar eclipse. Dun dun dun! What does that mean? It means that the light is being covered up. There's going to be some cosmic wild cards. And it's very important we know how to best protect our energies during this time for some things that may be unexpected and some dramatic changes may happen. So we best know how to navigate through these things, knowing the three things that you guys need to pay close attention to during this very interesting portal that's opened from today. We're going to dive deep into it, but before we get into it, showreel. Hit it. everyone, Namo Himalaya, this is Sri Akashana here. And in this video, I'm going to break down for you the three things that you must pay close attention to when it comes to this particular new moon, especially with the solar eclipse. Okay, now we all know that it's a very important time for us to set new intentions for new manifestations to happen during new moon times. However, this one has a little bit of a twist to it because you have the solar eclipse. So there may be some cosmic wild cards on the horizon, right? That's why it's very important. You guys take your pens, take your pads, take some notes on these. I've got my notes here, so I'm going to break it down for you guys. And uh, hopefully you guys will be able to resonate with a lot of the things I'm saying and the feelings and the emotions, the energy in motion from the energies of the moon and the sun, okay? The first thing that I've got down here is to do with the solar eclipse. So, as I said before, what is the solar eclipse? The solar eclipse is basically the moon passing with the sun, and then suddenly you've got the ring of fire. What will this ring of fire trigger? It's going to trigger certain emotions, right? That fire is always related to the fire in the belly, is related to our manifestation energies, and the sun is related more to the ego side. So when you have that ring of fire, it's going to challenge some things emotionally. That's what the moon represents. When that is happening, it's highly likely that today, you, some of you may have had that already, there may be some people's emotions going a little bit more wild than usual. This is usually a trait that we see during full moon more than what we usually get during new moon. But some people may be getting angry, may be getting upset, it could be you, right? Suddenly emotions are coming from you don't know where and you're reacting to certain situations or other people are reacting to you, creating certain changes of mind, right? Maybe there's something you expected it was gonna go one way, suddenly somebody flipped the switch and said, I'm not doing it anymore. Maybe it's something that you wanted to do. You were pursuing something and suddenly you had this moment where you said, I don't want this anymore. I'm done. If that is the case, that's drama itself. What is it for? Is it good? Is it bad? No, it's just neutral. Right? Maybe you had certain things you expected was going to go one way. Suddenly it's flipped 180 and it's going the other way. Is it good? Is it bad? No, it's neutral. Everything that shows up for you is for you. The universe is always working with you even at times when it doesn't feel like it. So what is it a big reminder for on this first point is to not point the finger outwards and play the blame game. Don't say why you did that to me, why you shouldn't have said that, or this should have been that way, or universe is so unfair. No, don't, don't, <laughs> just don't. Why? because the universe can see a different perspective to what you can see. And sometimes these wild cards and these changes that happen, right, is what's supposed to be to get you to where you need to be. Only the universe knows. I always 
class the universe as like our parents, our most loving parent. Think of how a loving parent is when a loving parent tells the child, you can't eat the candy, no more candy and takes the candy away. How does the child react or respond? It's angry, upset. Why? It's not fair. When the child has not the level of consciousness that the parent has, the parent knows that the candy is going to be bad for the teeth, is going to be bad for the health. But the child doesn't know. Only later on, the child will then understand. In the same sense, you may get some things that are taken away from you, some unexpected situations or circumstances. But what I'm saying is, only universe knows. We have to have that trust, have to have that faith, and know that the universe is always working with you. Okay. Your role during this thing, understanding that there's a solar eclipse, is to become the observer. Observe without trying to intervene too much and trying to fight that path that the superconscious is moving towards and helping you towards. Instead, relax, observe. Come to the level of consciousness to say everything that shows up for me is for me. Everything that is meant to happen this way is happening this way. And best respond to situations. Know that that challenge that may be there may be pushing you towards a different path, and that's your greatest path. Have faith, have trust, and the universe will continue to work with you. The second thing you guys need to pay close attention to is it's the new moon in Libra. What does Libra represent? Libra is the scales. Libra is all about harmony. It's all about balance. So during this time, and do let me know, by the way, if you can resonate with anything that's been said already, let us know inside the comments, because some people are new to astrology, are new to these things, and sometimes they're like, really? Does it really happen? So at least they don't feel alone in this, you know? Help them also help you. This is your karma that you're putting out. So let us know inside the comments if you can resonate with anything that's been said already or you resonate with what I'm about to say right now. You are looking at your life suddenly and you don't know where this came from. And you're just like, maybe I should be doing something else. Maybe the way I'm living my life or maybe the way I'm dealing with my relationship or maybe the way I'm working in my career. I'm not sure I want this anymore. You're wanting to change your routine. You're wanting to change your ways. You're wanting to change the, um, the way your life is balanced or not balanced. And you're starting to question while this portal is opening up right now on the 12th, it opens up even wider on the 14th. You're going to feel even more. And all the way to the 16th, we've got five days, we're going to feel these energies. So what might be that energy that you're feeling? <sighs> you just feel like, oh, I don't know what it is. I think I'm done with this. But it's not that you're done with this. It's that you're done with your current routine. It's that you're done with the, how your daily rituals are, your daily routines are, your daily calendar is, your daily schedule is, how you've been living life so far. What is a very powerful exercise I can give everybody here now is to write two lists. Okay, you can do this now. The first list, you can write down your values. Okay, because this, this new moon in Libra is going to try to get you to live a life of balance and harmony and alignment so that you can get everything you want in life. And that's why I want you to make these two lists. The first list, I want you to list down your values. Number one, the thing you value most in your life could be health, could be family, could be love, could be relationship, could be your wife, your husband. Number one. Number two, what do you value next? In order, 
of what you feel is most important to you. Maybe it's health, maybe it's going for walks, maybe it's traveling. What is next? Maybe it's work, maybe it's money, maybe it's your career. What's next? Maybe it's doing charity work. I don't know. Whatever it is for you, then the matter of importance, your values, make a list of that right now from one to 10. Right? What you value most in life. I value food, eating. I value exercise. I value, I don't know, some of you play football, whatever. I value my singing career. Whatever it is, write on a list. Then I'd like you guys to write a second list. After you've completed the first list, and only when you've completed the first list, you start writing your second list. That second list, you start thinking, how do I spend most of my time? How do I put most of my energy? Number one, you've got your second list. You look at list number one and you say, rearrange it to see which one is number one, the one I spend most time with. It, it could be something that was the number seven, work. It's now number one. I work most of the time of my awake, awakened hours. Number two. Uh, I spend time in meetings, whatever. Number three, oh yeah, I go for walks. Number four, I go for whatever. I play football. Number five, uh, yes, yeah, some uh, in my romantic relationship. Number six, uh, uh, health. Number seven, family. So rearrange it to towards, be honest with yourself, what you spend most time with being number one. After doing that, now look at the two lists and see the incongruency, the misalignment in the two. This will really help you find balance in life to be able to realign yourself, to be able to then receive the manifestations from the universe that you really want. Because if you're misaligned or you're disaligned, the universe cannot give you what you want because you are out of alignment. You're feeling off and you don't know why, but these two lists will give you clarity. Because here you say health or family is number one. Here you've got health and family on number five. So you're not living the life that you feel is most important. But why is that? Now it's time to come to some sort of conclusion or decision. How, I'm going, how am I going to rearrange this, these two lists? Because right now I got a problem because my model of the world your model of the world, which is what, what your values are, is not aligning with your current reality. Your current reality is completely different. And because these two things are misaligned or disaligned, on an unconscious level, every day you're feeling out of balance. And for every moment you're feeling out of balance and you're not in alignment, you are not going to be able to manifest the greater things in life. Because manifestation is all down to being aligned and congruent with what you want. So hopefully this exercise will resonate with some of you on some level. Let me know, by the way, if your two lists look completely different and you know there's some change that needs to be done, let us know inside the comments. Put it out there. Affirm it. Affirm it out to the universe. Do a public declaration. When you put that energy out, it already starts the wheels in motion. It's like your commitment to the universe saying, yes, universe, I'm ready for change. Let us know inside the comments. What are you going to change to make it more congruent and align your values with your everyday life? How are you going to live it? How are you going to change your calendar? How are you going to change your schedule? How are you going to change your daily routines and rituals? That's going to be very important for you to do, especially during these five days, because you've got Libra energies that are helping you actually during this time. The third and final thing you need to pay close attention to is what? Mars traversing your income sector. What does this mean? Mars energy, the way all the planets and stars are aligned right now is gonna move through your current C. It's gonna move that current C 
through your currency, your income, your finances. And so while this is going to happen, now on the 12th, by the way, um, it already begins. So what does this mean? Some of you may have had some interesting news or interesting situations which may have affected your finances. Okay. And if that is the case, what is this telling you to do? Not to play the blame game once again, but it's time to take care of your finances. My recommendation for everybody is what? Less spending, more investing. I think Zoom is also agreeing to that point, right? Less spending, more investing. And when you do that, what does that mean? Invest in yourself, invest in invest in your, your personal development, invest in a business, invest in assets, things that may appreciate in value, but less spending. Because this will show the universe at this time that you are managing your money well. So you need to start reevaluating the way you are spending money or the way if you are or if you're not, are you investing money? because you have to sow to reap. What you sow, you shall reap. So you can't just say, be hoarding money. You're never gonna become abundant doing it that way. So you're gonna allow money out for money in, but it's towards investment, not towards spending. And the second thing is, right? Your ability and openness towards your value and how you appreciate money, how you work towards earning more, allowing more abundant wealth and abundance to flow through you. The universe is going to be observing during this time. And if it's not happening for you right now, if your if your money plan is not intact, that's where these Mars energies will come in and it's going to teach you a bit of a lesson. So if you have been taught a lesson during this portal, during these five days, then you know, hey, wait there a second, I may need to reevaluate the way I'm managing my currency because this current is moving through the sea right now to teach you a lesson. So take this time to understand, hey, it doesn't matter how spiritual we are, we're still in a physical reality which requires physical money to physically live. So please don't say money is not important because your food today was because of money. The, the shelter you have is because of money. Your children you need to feed or your parents you look after, you need money to look after them. So money, money helps life, you know? We cannot say it's not important. If we allow ourselves, our mind and our spirit to be open for abundance, and we start appreciating money. We always need to understand what we appreciate, appreciates. Once you start loving it and appreciating it, the universe will give you more of it. These are the three main things. This particular new moon portal opening from today for five whole days, we must pay close attention to. And if we do, what will happen? The universe, the universe will respond nicely to how you are, not what you want, to how you are behaving. That's why I give you those exercises. Get pen to paper, set the plan, and action the plan. If you've enjoyed this video at all, or you got anything out of it whatsoever, or you resonated with anything, please do hit the thumbs up. If you resonate with any of the points, by the way, let us know inside the comments below. It just helps those people who are new to astrology and this understanding and this level of consciousness to know that they're not alone. Share your story. Your story is powerful. Share your experience. Your experience is powerful. Let us know inside the comments. That's always nice to know. And do let us know inside the comments where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know too. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way, because this year we're dedicated to making daily videos so you are comfortable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, we're signing out. Namaste. Namo Himalaya.